did you seek parliamentary approval before you entered into this contract? No, please. You did not. Do you, do you appreciate the fact that the pronouncement by the Supreme Court vis-a-vis -vis the constitutional provision clearly talks about prior approval? Do you appreciate that? Well, I'm sorry, very much so. But my frustrations to try to get a vaccine for us at the heat of our second wave. I relied on the executive instrument 61 that was passed by parliament to hide behind emergency clauses that have been invoked to try to see if I could do that and come to parliament to inform parliament that this is what I have done and therefore need um, regularization. I need approval to cover it because we were in dire need of the vaccine and I had the owners to try to procure the vaccines to vaccinate Ghanaians to protect our lives. Honorable Chair, I must be very honest with you. At the time, I have mentioned my frustration was the fact that I seriously made that error and um, on hindsight, it won't happen any longer. You are aware of how we deal with emergency situations in Parliament. We have conventions and rules and regulations convert, I mean, governing how you deal with emergency issues, i.e. appearing before the relevant committee and make a case so that the issue can be dealt with as an emergency issue. Why didn't you take advantage of that procedure? That those were not normal times. And I was seriously in the situation that couldn't make me think properly, the way you think that now I will actually address myself to the situation. Mr. Minister, are you aware that we have dealt with issues and motions on the same day before on the floor of the house in this house. And let me give you examples. You remember the 1.2 billion and the 100 million dollars from the World Bank. We dealt with it the same day. Couldn't you have done that? I could have done that. But the circumstances at the time was a little bit different. You have led evidence before this committee that you used your best efforts to get diplomatic channels to enable you reach the manufacturer or the Russian authority directly. Is that correct? Yes. You even did so by producing letters as evidence of such correspondence. Is that correct? That's correct. You further indicated that it was after all those best endeavors have proved futile before you dealt with the sheik. Is that correct? might not be correct. I dealt with the Sheikh before the frantic efforts to try to get the vaccines from the right source. So were you being untruthful to this committee when you indicated that you use your best efforts to get direct access to the manufacturer and the Russian authorities before you dealt with a sheikh? I can't remember I have said this anyway. What I said was that I made efforts, but I didn't just oppose the timing of the efforts that I made. Of this committee.